Hey YouTube, what's going on and welcome back to Cairo and his things. The Armory Tech Wizard C2 Pro is one of the most popular right angle flashlights on the market. But today, we're going to be looking at its little brother, the Wizard C1 Pro. Let's get right into the basics on this light. As far as size, we're looking at 76 millimeters in length. And as far as the diameter on the head, we're looking at 33 millimeters. Now without a battery in it, this only weighs 55 grams. And with the battery, it weighs 80 grams. For output, we're looking at 930 max lumens on turbo. And that has about 100 meters throw. And you've got that for about five minutes until it steps down. Now, a light mode that I usually like to pay the most attention to is medium mode, because that's what I find myself in for the majority of time on most flashlights. And so you're looking at about 195 lumens for a three hour runtime on medium mode. On its absolute lowest setting, we're looking at a firefly of 0.1 lumens, which is really ideal and awesome and you're looking at 60 days on that firefly mode. Now, as far as what comes in the head of this light, so you can see we've got a nice steel bezel right here with that web TIR, TIR lens. And inside there, we have an LH351D emitter. So that's a nice, pretty neutral, uh, good for everyday carry emitter in there. And this is the warm tent version, as you can see right there. And with this, we get 90 CRI. So this is going to have good color rendering index. But this is significantly smaller than the C2 Pro. And that's because this actually comes with an 18350 battery. Something I've certainly noticed with headlamps is that I see many people online swapping out the tubes uh, that normally come with, I'd say, like an 18650 and swapping them out for an 18350 size tube because a lot of people like to be able to have something both small in pocket and it's lightweight on their head when carrying it. And so Army Tech made this available to where it doesn't have quite as strong of output and it doesn't have quite as strong of run times, of course. But this is for the crowd who prefers something a bit smaller. And man, it really is tiny. Let me show you here. Here we've got a Wubin X2 next to the C1 Pro, and you'll see not only is it shorter, and the X2 is quite small already. This is a great EDC size light, but you can just see just how small the C1 Pro is next to it. So having that 18350 option is certainly desirable by many people. Now you'll notice on the head here, we do have a button on the side. I've got to say I absolutely love this button. 
it feels so good to click. It has a really responsive button on it. It just feels really solid. I'd say this is one of the better buttons that I felt. This is even better than the FC13 button. Really, really like it. Feels good. I've got it disabled currently, but you can turn on the battery indicator light with this where it'll flash and it'll show you both the temperature and the battery indicator. And additionally on the head, you'll notice you've got flat spots all the way around the head other than the button. So then if you are carrying this just in your pocket, you know, you can, you can use the button like so, or like this, or like this, you know, whatever you prefer, whatever is most comfortable for you when holding this light. For me, I think my preferred method is from the top, but either way, you've got little spots here for your finger, no matter how you're most comfortable to use it. Now, you may have noticed this ring on the bottom here. That is because this is magnetic charging. I'm quite impressed with the quality of the charger that they send with this light. It actually ha feels good, feels durable. It's a nice metal charger. I've noticed with some of the other magnetic charging lights that I've seen, that some of them come with either, you know, more plastic or just low quality chargers, but this one feels really good. Now, of course, if you just completely despise magnetic charging, you can always just unscrew the tube. And here we've got an 18350 battery. You could just throw that in your own battery charger if that's how you prefer to do things. We do have a completely matte finish from top to bottom and little finger grooves in there as well. So it still feels comfortable to hold even though it's small. It comes with a quality headband here. I really like this headband. And also this deep carry metal clip. Now let's go ahead and get into the user interface. We're working with two separate modes on this light. So there is a simple mode and then there's an advanced mode. Currently I have it in simple mode. So for this, it's a standard click on to turn it on and click off to turn it off. Okay, now once you click it on, you can then cycle by holding down through different light outputs. If you hold from off instead of clicking, that takes you into your firefly mode, which is very, very low. As you hold down and you cycle back through the modes, as it cycles down to its lowest setting again, see that? It just goes to a low. It's not going to cut all the way down to firefly again. So you're going to have to turn it off and hold down if you want to get back into firefly. However, all modes, see I clicked at that time, you have memory mode. It has memory mode no matter what. Now while the light's on, if you double click, you can get into turbo. And then you double click again to go back into your last used mode. So it took us back into Firefly again. And that's pretty much simple mode. It's really, really easy to use. And it's honestly how I've mostly kept this light. Now if we switch over to advanced mode, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the tail a little bit there and then hold down the button and then tighten it back up. So now we go into advanced mode. So the way that this works is if you hold from off, takes us into firefly mode, kind of like basic mode, right? Or simple mode. But this time, now as we hold down this, it only has three modes. Firefly one, two, and three, and then back to one. So basically you stay in your groups. So if you hold, you go back into Firefly and that's where you're gonna stay. And there's three different modes of Firefly. Now, if I want to double click from off, that takes me into main mode. So now I'm gonna switch between main one, two, and three, and back to main one. And these are gonna be more like medium modes. Now, from off, if I triple click, that takes me into turbo. So now it's turbo one, turbo two, and then back to one. So it's just those, okay? And it always keeps memory mode. So how I last went into turbo, if I want turbo again, I don't have to triple click. I can just single click and go back in. Or if you want to switch immediately from turbo to uh, firefly while you're in a mode, double click while it's on. So that took me to main and then that just took me to firefly again. Okay. So you can quickly switch between the different modes. Okay. So the last thing we touched was firefly. So we single click takes us back into firefly always keeps that memory mode. 
So it's definitely a little bit more complex in the advanced mode, and that's why it's called advanced mode, but it obviously gives you a lot more features to work with as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it a little bit, hold down the button, and screw it back in, and let's make sure we did this right. I'm gonna single click and hold down. All right, and we're back into basic mode, simple mode. Now that we've been able to see how the user interface works, let's go ahead and take a look at some beam shots. Hopefully from those beam shots, you were able to see how impressive this light is for being so tiny. Now, things I'd like to note on this is, for one, Army Tech's known as being a pretty durable brand, and I really feel like that's what I'm getting out of this light, is that it's extremely durable. You can just tell everything has good fit and finish, everything's quality. Let's say that you explore caves or tunnels or anything like that. I absolutely feel that you could rely on this light that it's going to stay reliable for you, and that it's going to be durable for you. And if the size is a bit too small, of course you could always just step it up to the C2 Pro. Now, if the size of the C2 Pro is too big, but you were looking for something smaller, well, then here's your answer, it's the C1 Pro. But overall, I've gotta note that this is an extremely durable light, and it is a brand that I trust to provide a durable light. I think overall it's a great design too. I like the way that the button is on the side with the flat marks and then obviously just having a really nice bezel and just the overall shape and design of this light I think is really nice and again just feels so quality. I like having the multiple user interface options, how you can switch between a simple mode and an advanced mode. I personally prefer the simple mode a little bit more, but I like having that advanced mode if I want it. You know, it's just something nice to have. And of course, I've got to note how it's great just to have the overall size options that, you know, you can go with an 18350 or that you can step it up to an 18650 with the C2 if you want. I like that you have a choice there and it's not only the C1 or only the C2. I really feel that they took their time and making sure that this felt like a high quality light and something that you're getting your money's worth with. Overall, the only negative I could really think of is just that it does have magnetic charging and many people prefer just a straight up USB-C charging. That would be nice. Overall, I don't care since I can just take the battery out and charge it if I prefer to do it that way. So either way, I think you're good. As far as price, we're looking at $65 if you purchase this directly from Army Tech. Now note that you are going to have longer shipping times, or you could pay an extra $4, get it off of Amazon for quicker shipping. I'll go ahead and provide both links in the description, and thank you for watching.